Thank you for being here for this special uh, Veterans Day uh, show as well. I know uh, you, you have a connection to uh, some veterans in your life. Yeah, my dad. My dad was, was a veteran. My dad was in the Army. Uh, yeah. And uh, I've had the good fortune of being able to go and visit our troops in Afghanistan. And I've been to, uh, yeah. So, but, you know, after I, did, after I did Lone Survivor, playing Marcus Luttrell, being welcomed into the SEAL community, the military community, it's, uh, it's awesome to really get a first-hand look at the, the, the real risks that you guys take to provide us our freedom. So I thank you guys so much. Yeah, it's amazing. It's truly amazing. Uh, I want to talk about Instant Family, uh, but also I want to talk about this new movie that you're, you're, you're almost finished shooting, or are you filming it right now? I'm filming now. But I'm back to Boston to shoot in the morning. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Thank you for uh, taking the time uh, oh. to come here. You're Peter Berg directing yeah. in Boston. I, we love, you guys work great together. But then there's a debut of a rapper slash singer that is going to debut in your film. Is this true? Yes, Post Malone. Our son. He calls us both dad. <laughs> yeah, Post Malone. Yeah, Post he Malone. He calls you dad? He calls me dad all the time. Yeah, he kept calling me dad. <laughs> well, I think he was, it's, you know. It's a respect thing? Yeah, well, or it's a bit of an insult. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> where did you He's meet? Old, but, where did you meet uh, uh, Posty? Post and I have mutual friends. Most of his crew are Boston guys, um, and so we met. And then he came over to my wife's birthday party, and we were drinking. And next thing you know, I'm perf trying to perform Good Vibrations. I forgot the words. I drank so much wine, <laughs> trying to keep up with Post. But uh, we hung out, and he mentioned that he wanted to be in a film. And I was like, okay, well, I'm doing this movie, and there's a really cool part, and I told Peter Berg, who actually directed Lone Survivor, that I wanted to cast Post, and they'd never seen him before. And he was like, all right, and can he act? And I was like, well, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> and, uh, and then he showed up, and Pete was really nervous. And Post, you know, he's, he likes a beer or two, so he had a couple cold ones beforehand. Pete was like, we haven't even shot yet. <laughs> like, I think I just, just saw a 12-pack go down. <laughs> and I was like, don't worry, buddy. He's going to be fine. And then uh, we, are, we rehearsed the scene. He was just joking around. Pete was mortified, and then he absolutely killed it. He's phenomenal in the movie. Really? Yeah, his first time. I think he could have a huge, huge acting career. This guy career can do wants. everything, right? He's, and how young? He's a kid. He's like 20. He says, you know what he doesn't know how to do? Sleep. He doesn't <laughs> yeah, sleep. Right. He doesn't, right? He doesn't right? sleep. I he... called him. I woke up. You know, I went to bed after work, woke up in the morning. I was like, I would just try to send him a message. Call me back right away. He was like, hey, you up? I said, yeah. I said, you, you're already up? He goes, I haven't gone to bed yet. <laughs> oh, my God. So he's having fun for all of us. He, he's in his 20s, so he should be able to yeah, do that. Yeah, he came on our show. We did a bit, and he, he took me to uh, Olive Garden. Olive Garden, yeah. Yeah, and I've never been to an Olive Garden. I, I've never been to an Olive Garden with him, but I, went to, I, I met him at Wahlburgers. <laughs> Dude, you did? And I was like... What, was he like, called you? Yeah, he was like, he, his studio was right down the street, so I was like, all right, meet me at the restaurant. And I was like, I was like what do you want to drink? He was like, uh, let me have a glass of wine, uh, Shirley Temple, and a beer. I was like, all three? He was all like, that absolutely. food? He ordered like three of everything on the menu. Dude, it's crazy. He did that at Olive Garden. And he tears it up. <laughs> he really does. And then you know what? The nicest guy in the world said hi to everybody, taking pictures. And he really is a yeah, nice he's guy. A sweetheart. I love him. What well, post? I'm looking forward to seeing you in this movie. Yeah. What's it called again? Uh, Wonderland. Wonderland is the, Wonderland. Is the film. Uh, well, I, I have a, I have a, uh, I could see why he would be up when, uh, still out when you wake up because. Someone, did you post the a schedule of your, your, your time schedule? Do you know what I'm talking about? I didn't post it myself. Somebody posted. They were like, oh, people are really interested in your wacky schedule because I get up really early in the morning to train and do all my stuff. Look at this but, schedule. But this is misleading because it says right here, where does it say shower? 6 to 7.30. I don't shower for an hour and a half. <laughs> I shower for about five minutes, and then I drive or I pick, wake up the kids. Yeah. Drop them off, go to the golf course. There's other things happening in between six and seven. So it's not an hour and a half shower. There's not enough hot water in LA for that. <laughs> oh my God, this is insane. And but you do this every day? I'm doing this every day for five months. I'm 102 days in now. Wow. So and I'll what, be having some wine with posts as soon as I finish. As soon as you finish, yeah. yeah. What's the cryo chamber recovery? Cryo chamber is great for recovery. It takes out all the lactic acid, swelling, inflammation. I, it's like. You go into this freezing cold chamber, it's 250 degrees below zero. You go in for three minutes, you listen to a song, and it just rejuvenates you. It's amazing. Really? Yeah, you so is it a tank? It. Is it like gas? Is yeah. it water? Well, you have a nitrogen one, but I prefer to go into the one, the U.S. cryo chamber, where you go in, you wear a mask, and you got to cover up your hands and feet, and you know, go in there with a pair of underwear. And well, what if you, don't but be just in your undies? Off. Yeah, well, well, you can wear other things, but yeah, they recommend you go in there. Wow. Yeah. <laughs>
Let's get cold. I know. It's like it's almost for me. It's like yeah. uh, being in a daily uh, cryo chamber. Anyway, um, <laughs> what do you do if you don't have a cryo chamber where you're filming? I, you know what? I haven't been in one for a while. But uh, when I was on vacation, I was just going in the ocean, 55 degree wa water. Gosh, you are yeah. so cool, man. Oh my no, God! I, I, trust I, me. I love if that's your water. version of cool, you got a problem. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I just, I just do what I have to do. It's you the, do. you know. We do. I, the other thing I was going to say. Somebody I'm gonna... tells you to make you feel better. I'm going to try it, except for drugs. Yeah. I tried that already. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, exactly.